Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Plugs kibble on TV. Not only, I've heard he's broken into the movies now, too. What? Why did he do that? I'd never leave a job where I get to eat as much kibble as I want all day long. Which reminds me, I'm hungry. I never go anywhere without Kitty Munch kibble. Woohoo! Meow! Meow! Want your Kitty Munch kibble, Sam? Enroll your cat in the national audition to replace our Kitty Munch ambassador, Oscar, and you could win a year's supply of kibble. We could sign up Victoria. Meow, meow. You too, little Sammy. Want to sign up for the Kitty Munch audition? Mm -hmm. You really think he has any chance? Who knows? Looks like he likes the idea. An audition for Kitty Munch kibble? No way, not me. How vulgar. If only it was for Royal Kitty Pate. If you aren't interested in Kibblebick, will you let me win? No. You have no chance, Sam. You are not a real cat. Everyone will see that. Don't listen to her, Sam. You can do it. You've been doing your cat act 24-7 ever since we got here. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. And I'm going to help you. We're going to turn you into advertising's first ever boar cat. Okay? <laughs> Doing here. We're coming with you. We want to get Oscar's autograph. We brought a photo. You and <laughs> this is an ad for kibbles. It's a job for cats, not goats. Meow, meow. Victoria and Sam. Leave them with me. Good, Good luck, luck, honey buns. buns. See, See you later. later. Come along, you two. <laughs> yeah, you see that? Don't worry, Sam. You're the best. <laughs> Are you joking? Nobody is as good as me, whether they're the real deal or phony. Now, is everybody here? Can we stop the improvisations, please? First up, Melody. She's a knockout! No, no, no! Too wishy-washy. Next! Mm. Not bad. He stays. Not bad. I can never do as good Next. as him. Ah, let's get this over with. She stays for sure. Next! <laughs> no, I don't want to go. I'll never make it. Of course you will. Sam, let your inner cat shine and think of all the kibble waiting for you when you win. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's incredible! Hilarious! We'll take him with Hans and Vic. The rest of you, on your way! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know that Oscar's around here somewhere. I can feel it! I'll go take a look through there! Mm -hmm. But the window's open! Let me go! Wait, Susie, stop! For the 
taste test. Take it away. Eat your kibble. I love the fat funny cat. He's our guy. Take five, everybody. Then we roll. Here's the funny cat that won. Where is he? It's you, Sam. You won me, but I'm not fat. But I know I sure am funny. <laughs> this audition is a joke. At least I won't have to waste any more of my precious time. I don't believe it. They can't possibly prefer that bumpkin. He may be a bumpkin, but at least he's not a second-rate ham. You okay, Sam? You need a little uh, refreshment? Well done. Great job. So, who are you then? His coach. I train him. I look after him. But who's ever heard of a dog looking after a cat? Oh, I see you're new to the business. Hang around and you'll get to see a lot of it. Dogs taking care of cats. Here's the living proof. All right, I'll go fetch you something to drink. And if he starts asking questions, whatever you do, don't say a word. <laughs> so you've been acting for a while then. I have rarely met an actor as talented as you. <laughs> Look, Susie, there he is! Oscar! 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 Can I please just take one little second of your precious time? Mr. Oscar? <gasps> Look, Eugenie! Sam? Of course I have. In my dreams. He was riding this giant hot dog bareback. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> we went playing around next door with Hans. He pushed me into a big vat of bubble gum. That guy's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world is that? <laughs> <laughs> Go scrub up that fat feline right this minute. We have no time to lose. No way! If they start washing you, they'll find your zipper and blow our cover. Come on, Sam! Quick! Okay, I knew cats didn't like water, but I didn't think they hated it that much. Go, security! Get him back here as fast as you can! Otherwise, we'll have to do with that guy. Hmm. Security, we just lost our new kibble star. Can you do something? Okay, we'll, we'll take, take care, care of it. I told you that you and your pumpkin buddies would never make the grade. Oh, yeah? You sure? Because I don't know if you knew it, but the shoot's been postponed! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no! Okay, well, we gotta switch camera. Take five, guys. Quick, take off your costume. <laughs> you supply a kibble up in smoke, and I was the winner. It's not fair. Where did they get to? There you go, clean as a whisker. Now we just have to get it dry. Go on, Sam. Another squeeze and we're done. Sam, wash? Hurry along! If Sam gets back quickly, the roll is still his! A boar? I knew you were just a silly bumpkin! Your days in advertising are over, sunshine! What's going down? It's coming from there! There! A boar with a doll! Stop! Stop! Still no sign of the funny cat? No, security's tied up. They say they're chasing down a wild boar. Shame. Too bad we'll have to care with the other guy. Look, it's him! It must be! It's him! Mr. Oscar, can I please just take one little second of your precious time? <gasps> he smiled at me! <laughs> Will you please sign an autograph for us? Of course. With pleasure. My fans will everything to me. Shoot, I've got nothing to sign with. Follow me. We'll soon change that. They'll send us back to the forest. I'll never get to be a cat again and I'll never get to eat kibble. We're going to find a solution. Don't worry, nobody will find us here. Sam? What? What are you doing? You have nothing to fear. <laughs> when I start.
started out as an actor, nobody wanted to hire me. Who'd want to work with a badger, I ask you? So to become a star, I decided to disguise myself as a cat. But shh, mom's the word. Security! Anyone in there? Hey, isn't, isn't that, that the fat, fat cat they told us to find? Come on, kitty, kitty cat, you're, you're coming, coming along with, with us. us. Yeah. Hey, wasn't, wasn't that, that the dog, dog who was hanging out with the boy? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hmm? Hmm. There you go, girls. Oh, thank you, Oscar. And cut! That's our boy! Awesome! A million times better than that Z-list celebrity. I'll get you back for this! Can someone get rid of this one, please? Contact the space agency. I think they're looking for a cat to test out litter in space. Kitty Munch, the Campbell with Crunch. So, who's the big boar cat superstar in the room? <sighs> We have just learned that a cat has been sent into space to test a new form of clump and seal cat litter. Good luck, little hands. Enjoy the trip, space cat. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. The city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Never seen such a beautiful one. Sam, come on. Now you're not going to. <laughs> oh! <laughs> come on in, Wash. It's perfect. Get out of that mud now. Put your costume on. <laughs> Someone could see you. <laughs> Yo, come on. We're alone. Wow! A shark! A shark? Where? 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 You don't see anything. Oh, well, that was just to get you out. <coughs> and it worked. Hmm. Mud baths are the only thing I miss about our life in the woods. And they make my fur silky and soft. Hey, look! It's acting like it wants to stay with me. Obviously, you stink of old mud for miles around. Now, come on, get rid of that fly. We're going home. Nope, I'm keeping it. You what? I feel a sort of connection between us. Something very rare, very powerful. No way am I getting rid of this fly. <sighs> I don't believe it. Now he's talking to flies. <laughs> What is that foul thing? Well, it's my fly. I adopted it. I'm warning you, if that thing comes anywhere near me, my claws are out. <laughs> what a cute little fly! Hey, another one. It looks like they really like me. Isn't that a surprise? Come on, kids. Let me show you all around your new home. Don't worry, Vic. It's just two flies. Or, rather, four. We would like to watch TV. Awesome! We're home! Uh -huh. What are all those flies doing around Sam? Yes, that's strange. I've never heard of cats attracting flies. Then again, Sam is unique. Luckily, there were only four. Huh? I need to talk to you, Sam. 
No problem, Wash. Here we are. Alone? Stay right there, kids. I'll be right back. Let's watch TV. We have to get rid of your flies right now. Oh, yeah? And do you mind telling me why, Mr. I'm so jealous? Because if the Living Stones start asking themselves too many questions, our covers are blown! A bunch of flies on a cat is too bizarre! Not a wild boar, it's a sign of social success! May I remind you that officially you are a cat and not a boar? May I also remind you that every other time animals have turned up here, we've been in big trouble! I'm not abandoning them! End of discussion! But they're just flies! <laughs> flies, perhaps, but flies who love me! <laughs> you and I are gonna get rid of those flies! Guys, let's go outside. It's far too noisy in here. Nest. <laughs> Time for the royal nap. My court and I are taking possession of that lounge chair. Hey, Lord of the Flies, why don't you all just buzz off? to stay nice and warm to hatch. <laughs> if those flies are still here this evening, I'm kicking every one of you out. I'll take care of it. I just need to find an idea. Well, find it fast. Brilliant invention is the answer to all our problems. What's it for? Catching flies. You'll see. You just have to. <laughs> oh well, looks like you prefer sticking around. Well, duh! My flies need nourishment, too! Yeah. yeah, your flies need nourishment, too. Well, looks like you guys were hungry. <laughs> Darling, we have to call the vet. It simply isn't normal for a cat to attract so many flies. I guess you were right, Wash. I'm gonna have to get rid of the... Well, you know what I mean. Good, because I know just the way to do that. <laughs> well, well, what a lovely walk in the woods. <laughs> Yo, if only I had a bed of leaves to lie down in. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, how 
about that? My old buddies. Nice to see ya, pals. <laughs> Mitch? Hi. Didn't expect to see you guys in this neck of the woods. What do we do, Wash? They're almost here. Uh. Help me, my beloved flies. That bear wants to separate us. Huh? Huh? There's no choice, Sam. You gotta tell them they can't come with you. You know, a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Yeah, I know. But it's tough, Wash. I've grown really attached to them. It's the only way! <sighs> and that's the reason why I'm gonna have to go home without you. But I'm certain you'll be happy here, out in the fresh air. And I promise I will never, ever forget you. Promise, Sam? Yeah, yeah, I promise, Wash. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. aren't even home. Why bother licking clean 100% synthetic fur? I'm practicing. So, what do you think? Aren't they as real as the real cats? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, you'll never ever be a real cat because you've got no magic powers. Mm, what? What are you talking about? What magic powers? Mm, seeing in the dark, for example. <laughs> All wild boars can see in the dark. Okay, maybe. But do you know how to multiply kibble? <clears throat> yeah, well, I got X-ray vision. I always knew how to multiply kibble. Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, I'd be pretty darn surprised if you knew how to become invisible. <clears throat> what did you just say? I don't believe you. First, you have to close your eyes. You're okay. You can open your eyes now. Wow, that's awesome. Uh -oh. Tell me how you did it. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Please, please, tell me. Pretty, pretty, please. Mm -mm. 
Tell me your secret. After all, I'm almost a cat too, huh? Meow! No, not possible. Not allowed to. I swear, I won't tell a soul. <sighs> yeah, that's it? It's that simple? That's how you do it? Mm-hmm. But it doesn't work. I can still see myself. It's normal. Only you can see yourself. I can't see you anymore, though. Oh, right. That makes sense. Careful. Sam is invisible. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, of course. That's awesome. Can I become invisible, too? No, it's too bad, but only cats can do it. Aww. Finally, I'll be able to do everything I ever wanted. Sam? Sam, where are you? Oh, yeah, seriously, Sam, where are you? <laughs> hmm? But what in the world is he doing? Has he lost his mind? I think he's digging for acorns. What? A cat would never do that. They're gonna figure out in a blink that something weird is going on. Oh, yeah? You really think so? <laughs> Sam, say! He's invisible! But I can't see him! Yeah, well, maybe, but he's still invisible. <laughs> what? No way! That's nonsense, because I can see him! <laughs> I knew something was fishy. <laughs> You're the one behind all this. <laughs> Quick, we gotta stop Sam before it's too late. Just look at the yard. I've never seen a cat do anything like that in my life. Why, he's a, a wild cat. Yeah, uh, no, no. He did it for a, a treasure hunt. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, great. But, um, we gotta start looking too. Otherwise, Sam's gonna win. Hey, can we play too? <laughs> I think that's enough. They've fallen for it. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dave! <laughs> I can take all the food I want without anyone seeing me! He stole my hot dogs! Dave! Dave! Go to restaurants, play on the trampoline in the yard! Dave! <laughs> hey! Double thief! I'll find both of you! We gotta find Sam as fast as possible. No telling what he's capable of doing. He thinks he's invisible. Oh no. What if he takes off his costume? Already high in the sky. It must be noon already, and I'm gonna miss pigtails. Quick, gotta find a TV. Do you think we're gonna find him? Yes, he can't be far. Now, if I were Sam, what would I want to do if I were invisible? Eat, watch TV. Ah! Oh, what? Sam managed to get inside all the TVs. This is an emergency. The animal power. No, they know where he is. I'm going in. <laughs> this time, we really have lost him. Oh, that's what 
why they're screaming. Well, I'm sure not scared of any ghost train. Whoa, whoa, whoa. should be here shortly. And I hear they're really dangerous animals. Phew, they haven't captured him yet. Quick, let's go. <laughs> Quick, Sam, we gotta run. You can see me? Of course I can. Everyone can see you. Why do you think there's nobody left in the amusement park? They all ran for their lives when they saw you without your costume. No, that's impossible. I'm invisible. You see, Wash? That's what I told you. We're playing Sam is Invisible. <laughs> Did I do it right? Can you see me now? Hello, Sam. You feeling OK? It doesn't work anymore. I don't get it. I'm a cat, and cats can become invisible. One, you're not a cat. Two, cats cannot become invisible. Sam, Vic and Susie were teasing you. Ah, I don't have my costume. I left it at the construction site. What am I going to do? Susie's going to go get it. It's the least she can do. And we're going to get out of here before the animal pound arrives. Too late. Stop that. You're going to give us away. <laughs> Got no choice. Huh? What? A fox as well as a wild boar? Stand back up! This place is crawling with wild animals! <laughs> a fox driving a bumper car? What next? Huh? <laughs> uh, come back, you lousy thief! Stop it, Sam. It just doesn't work. It's just not possible. Not possible. Aha! Follow me. <laughs> I'll never ever leave you again. Hurry up, we're gonna miss dinner. You? Hmm? you? Uh oh. This time you won't escape me, you bunch of thieves. This way. <laughs> <laughs> time to settle a few scores, and I have every intention of coming out on top. It's right about now we could use some of those magic powers. You okay. kid. <laughs> Huh? Oh, I can't see a thing! Bullseye! Woohoo! Follow me! <laughs> Yay! It's starting! Oh, Vag, you were on the sofa? We didn't see you. You should warn us next time you become invisible. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. So cute. You know, sometimes I wish I could grab onto a kite and go floating in the sky. Huh? <laughs> 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 you 
okay? You heard it all? No, I'm all right. You're all fried, more like. Never fear, little sis. Sam the firefighter is here. <laughs> was that lightning? That didn't come from the sky. That was Eugenie. You sure? Eugenie still has all that electricity from the cloud inside her. She'll get over it. What a shame. I always dreamed of having superpowers. Uh, say, guys, I think it's time to get inside. Oh. Vic, this crazy thing just happened to me. Hmm. Eugenie, whatever happened to you, I don't want to no. know. All I want right now is for you to steer clear away from me, okay? Whoa. What a killjoy. A bulb blows for no reason? Our hair stands on end? The TV goes haywire? We must have a polterbeast! A polterbeast? You mean poltergeist? <laughs> a spooky ghost thing? That's right. Lock all the doors. Turn off the lights. Call the science police. I want every test possible. Honey, look. The TV is working again. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. It's like it's coming from you, GD. Time for a visit to the vet, maybe, don't you think? When their program ends and they see Eugenie is still electric, the Living Stones are bound to take Eugenie to the vets. We have to find some way of de-electrifying her. I got an idea. Seeing as you're the smartest guy here, maybe you can find a solution, yeah? <laughs> Guess what, Sam? The solution's already in the bag. What is it? What is it? This is gonna be fun. The electricity in Eugenie's body comes from the sky. On that, we agree. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it arrived in her body via the kite line. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, if we want to cure Eugenie, the electricity has to go back the way it came. So, how are we going to do that? Kite again so that the electricity zaps straight back up the line and into the sky. Well done, Susie. Wash, you're a genius. Oh, come on. Not only will that plan never work, but what's more, it's plain dangerous. Eugenie is more likely to get zapped by lightning like she did last time. Why? Well, you know, nature? You know nothing, Victoria. Don't listen to her, girls. Ms. Know-It-All here was just trying to show off. <laughs> yeah, if you believe Ms. Know-It-All, the girls aren't even allowed to fly kites because kite flying is too dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot advise you strongly enough not to listen to that silly fox and your knucklehead brother, Eugenie. But Vic, do you have a better solution? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Higher, Eugenie! It has to hit a cloud! That way the electricity can... Pity we can't say the same about you. What, that I'm a lightning bug? No, glowing and bright. No need to panic. It's just a side effect. It was all part of the plan. You'll soon switch off, Eugenie. However, we do have to make sure that the Living Stones don't see you like that. This time, it's an emergency. Pulling out, let's go. <laughs> was the visit to the vet part of your plan too, Wash? Zeus, go look in the window. See if my strategy's going as planned. As planned? And what exactly did you plan? Well, I was hoping that everything would turn out fine. What is that glowing object doing in my clinic? Think I'm some kind of electrician or what? It's a rabbit, Vladimir. A rabbit who was afflicted with a rare disease. If you manage to cure it, expect glory and the Nobel Prize, no doubt. Uh -huh. A very interesting case of acute rabbit lapis radiatus. Is it serious, Doc? 
How should I know? I've never heard of the disease until I saw this rabbit. But do you think you can do something? If it was a living room lamp, I could unplug it or remove the batteries. But here, what we have before us is a rabbit, do we not? Leave this with me. I shall keep her under observation overnight. I will see what I can do. Your plan is not working out as you expected, Wash. He's going to keep her overnight. But that's perfect. That means we'll be able to operate by night without anybody seeing us. By daylight, the mission would be way too risky. But with Eugenie beaming like a lighthouse, we're sure to be spotted. No! At night, everybody's in bed asleep. Come on! There's no switch, no battery compartment. This is beyond my abilities. Huh? Use this do it yourself electricity manual. You have the night to read it. Remember, the Nobel Prize, Vladimir! <sighs> it was much more fun being a rabbit than a bedside lamp. She's not there! Oh, no! He must have already discovered she's a wild animal. He sent her back to the forest. Stop! Stop! <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Besides, lambs do not run off in the middle of the night. Isn't that right? At least we know where she is now. Alarm activated. That'll stop you from running away for sure. <laughs> What's got to done that? Huh. Uh, I should have listened to Miss Know It All. Huh? Fick! Okay, I admit the alarm was not part of the strategy, but I do have a plan B. We dig a tunnel right inside the bedroom. Forget it. You only had to take the right ventilation duct. Stop! Stop! <laughs> I've never seen a street lamp with rabbit ears before. My lamp! My Nobel Prize! <laughs> that way, it's a shortcut that leads straight back to the Livingstone's house! Okay, okay. Anyone can make a mistake. Some more than others. Oh, look! There's a light in the street! Oh, no! I'm sick of being a bedside lamp. We have to conceal Eugenie so the vet doesn't see her. But, Wash, if we touch Eugenie, we'll all frazzle! It's the only way, Sam! <laughs> you stopped glowing! You're right! You think I'm cured? Yippee! <laughs> What's happening to us, Wash? When we touched Eugenie, we must have picked up the charge. In the name of the law, I arrest you. Where is my lamp? I'm sure I saw it here. No sweat. Cut them off. Wash, do you have some kind of plan to get us out of here? Maybe a better plan than last time? On the count of three, we go in for the hug. One, two, three! <laughs> so, what are you gonna say to Wash the Genius? I confess, it was a pretty bright idea. <laughs> Huh? Hey, you're not asleep? So tell me, if Eugenie zapped her electricity to us and we zapped it to the vet, who's he going to zap it to? Sam, the main thing is that we're all here together. All four of us, nice and warm on the Livingstone sofa. Let's get some shed eye, okay? Look, honey, Eugenie's back and she's been cured. 
The vet must have brought her back and was kind enough not to wake us. He really is quite something. If you want my opinion, he should be awarded the Nobel Prize. Bad news, Mr. Livingstone. Your rabbit escaped. Escaped? Not at all. She's here and she's doing great. Do congratulate Mr. Vladimir. He truly is a dazzling man. Dazzling is the right word. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I'm sure there's already a new one growing in its place. Mm -hmm. Hey, plant it in the yard. I heard an old oak tree will grow on top of it with tons of delicious acorns. Is there acorns that grow into acorn trees? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So then if we plant a tooth, it will make a... Ah! A tooth tree! <laughs> so maybe we should avoid that scenario by tossing it in the garbage. Most certainly not, you bunch of fools. Baby teeth are worth a fortune. What? In the city, when you put a tooth under your pillow during the night, a tooth fairy comes and gets it and leaves a present in exchange. <laughs> Don't you remember Biscuit, the little mouse who lives with the living stones? Mm -hmm. Well, Biscuit works part-time as a tooth fairy. <sighs> That's all nonsense. Yeah. I lost a tooth two months ago, and Biscuit never came with the slightest gift. Ah, could be your tooth was too boring for him. Yours, Eugenie, is way more interesting. What's so special about my tooth? Well, for a rabbit, that's one huge tooth. And I can assure you, teeth like that are pretty rare here in the city. I'm sure you'll get an enormous present. Better tooth fairy. Here, sis. Biscuit has made fun of us yet again. Well, why the long faces? You said that Eugenie would get a super present, and she got totally ripped off instead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, laugh all you want, but we haven't said our last word. <laughs> what do you want? Just what is this lousy gift, huh? Eugenie left you a super tooth, and she deserves a super present. Give us back the tooth. We're gonna see another tooth fairy. A real one this time. Too late. A deal's a deal. Can't go back on it now. And for your info, I've been running Baby Teeth Incorporated, the company that handles all the teeth in the hood for years. And for years, a rabbit tooth is worth a clothespin. No more, no less. <laughs> and one more thing. You can thank your lucky stars. Since it was a big tooth, I gave you a big clothespin. <laughs> Did 
Did you hear that, Sam? Yeah, it's my stomach growling. I've only had four meals today. Shh. Is totally exceptional. What did I say? I'll give you five kilos of cheese and uh, a muscle. 20 kilos of cheese and a muscle. Uh, 10 kilos and no muscle. 15. 12 kilos and half a muscle. It's a deal. Right. I have to organize transportation now. I'll be okay. Wow. 12 kilos of cheese and half a muscle? <laughs> Eugenie got totally ripped off. And we've got the proof now. I'm gonna make a deal. What is it you want this time? <clears throat> well, according to the latest news flash, it appears that Eugenie's tooth is exceptional and that it's going right on today's tooth market is about 12 kilos of cheese. It's half a muscle. So either we get it back or we get the cheese. Too late. <clears throat> That's how it's gonna be. We'll have to resort to more forceful methods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this clothespin is actually pretty cool. Yay, turn, Eugenie! Ah! Ah! You guys are totally nuts. Are you okay, Nugget? I'm so sorry. It's because of that dumb present that Biscuit brought me. He's really a mean. What? You actually got a present from Biscuit? Why you and not me? Drop it. I bet it's because we tried to eat Biscuit a couple of times. You know how those mice hold a garage. You see? You're really actually pretty lucky. You could have gotten nothing at all. I believe you have something that belongs to us. <laughs> hey, you give me back my tooth right now! Huh? That looks like a tooth. <laughs> Come on, open your mouth. It's for your own good, you know. You mustn't suffer in silence, darlings. Uh, listen, honey. The easiest thing to do is to get an appointment with the vet tomorrow morning. They'll know whose tooth this is. Huh? <laughs> now, given the size of it, I think we can count out Susie, no? Indeed we can, honey. Birds don't have teeth. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> If the Livingstones take the tooth to the vet, he's going to tell them it's a wild boar's tooth, and then it's going to be a one-way ticket back to the forest for all of us. What if we steal the tooth during the night? Huh. They'll see it's missing tomorrow morning, and they might suspect it was us. Too risky. Oh, I know. What if we replace it with Nugget's cat tooth? Mm, brilliant idea, Eugenie. Yeah, well, mm. good luck with that. Nugget and Fluffy's door is always locked at night. Susie! You could get it by flying through the window. So I could get swallowed whole by those two loonies? No, thank you. But I do know how you could get in, Wash. I just found a super video explaining how to use a clothespin. Voila! Whoa! Awesome catapult! Susie, get in position. Sir, yes, sir! Everyone ready? <laughs> Operation Clothespin will begin in five, four, three, two, one, zero! Whoop. Sam, are your muscles made of silly putty or what? Pull a bit harder this time, okay? Zero! <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> zero! <laughs> zero! <laughs> zero! Harder, Sam, not super hard. If all you're going to do is yell at me, I will stop helping. <laughs> but, but what in the world is that? Washington? Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? Get out of here on the double unless you want to wind up in the dog pound. Yeah, uh, uh, I come as a friend. Uh, actually, I come as a little mouse. Uh, a fairy mouse. Biscuits at me. Huh? A dog fairy mouse? Yeah, that's it. And uh, since Biscuit doesn't have time to come pick up Nugget's tooth, he asked me to undertake this super important mission for him. But then that means I'm going to get a present in exchange. <laughs> What's the present gonna be, huh, Wash? 
Your present? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, uh... <laughs> so, who's king of the deal? Whoa! How'd you do it? They seem so angry. Oh, you know, the usual. Art of the deal. Nugget had no choice but to hand over the tooth. Oh, yeah? With nothing in exchange? <laughs> uh, uh, no, 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 of course not. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, two kisses. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, come on, we got work to do. Oh, yeah? Even if I tell you I've got that exceptional tooth and that I'm willing to make a deal? I thought the Livingstones went off to the vet with the tooth. Quite right. Except that as we speak, the vet is examining an itsy bitsy cat tooth. No doubt about it. This is a shark's tooth. Which means that the tooth belongs to none of our darling furballs. Now that's great news. Interesting. In exchange for the tooth, I'll give you two huge clothespins. Uh-uh. We want eight kilos of cheese and a whole muscle. Huh? You're crazy. Three kilos of cheese and no muscle. Six kilos and a muscle. Do you think Wash will be back soon? I'm starting to get kind of hungry. So? Let's hear it for the king of the deal. Check it out. What? That's all? Huh? Hey! It's better than a clothespin, no? <laughs> you can say that again, Wash. Who wants some? Uh oh! I think another tooth is loose! Yeah. <laughs> oh, please. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Thanks, Washington. Well done. Good dog. Here you go, a little reward. Bring me up my newspaper, will you? You'll find me in my bedroom. You dogs are so pathetic. All those disgusting chores to chew on some old shoe. No way. It's delicious. And what's more, it's great for the teeth. <gasps> Good little doggy, who does everything Daddy tells him to. Got a problem, Vic? You're not jealous by any chance. Are you joking? See us cats, Wash? We don't have to go bootlicking humans for love and appreciation. All we have to do is be ourselves. Beautiful, agile, gracious. Everything a dog is not. <laughs> Baloney! Dogs are a match for cats in every department. Yeah? So if that's true, can you, for example, explain to me why dogs can't climb trees, whereas cats can? Oh, yes, we can. It's just we have better things to do. I'll go climbing trees whenever you want, Bic. Yeah? Really? The first to grab the ribbon is the winner. But warning, if you fall, then... Elimination. Basically, if Wash falls, he loses. Looks like I've got time for a little cat nap. <sighs> Poor little Washington. Need a helping tail? Go on, grab hold. You're breaking my little heart. Hang on tight. Washington! 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 <laughs> Looks like you've lost, Vic. 
Speaking as a cat, I will say that I am very disappointed with your performance, Victoria. But speaking as Wash's best friend, I am pleased with the result. Way to go, Wash. You won, boy. Yay! Washington! Washington! Ready to pay the price for defeat? Yay! Don't even think of it. Oh, look at Daddy's cute little dog. <laughs> Okay, had enough? Are you through? Are you happy now? Can I take this off? <gasps> <gasps> you are pretty pie. Yes! <laughs> hey, Wash, not coming to say hi? What's he doing lying on Victoria's armchair? Come on, Wash, get up. Come say hi. Washington? Washington? Uh, what? How weird. See that, honey? Wash doesn't look like himself today. It looks like his head has gone flat. No, he's lost weight. Look, his skin is hanging off his bones. Okay, honey pie, double ration of kibble for you today. <laughs> Dog kibble. It's disgusting. Washington, you gotta eat. Go on. <laughs> Go on, little doggy, eat him off! What are you laughing at? Wash got himself a double ration of kibble and we didn't! It isn't funny! But it isn't Wash! It's Vic wearing Wash's costume! Yeah? Okay, time for some exercise, Washington. That'll soon perk you up. It's weird! It's like Wash's costume has grown too big for him! It's because it isn't Wash, Sam! It's Vic wearing Wash's costume! Yeah? Oh, yeah! Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Uh, hang on. Wash wearing... No. Who's it again? Go on, Washington. Catch! <laughs> Your reflexes are rusty, Washington. You're beginning to worry me. Luckily, I have a nice, juicy, vitamin-enriched bone for you. You should see her, Wash. Vic is hopeless at playing the dog. Uh, what? It has to stop right this minute. I've spent two years training to create the perfect dog act, and Victoria is ruining it all in one afternoon. If she carries on like that, the living stones are going to kick me out. Uh, you or Vic? Uh, me. I mean, Vic, and then me. Yeah. If they throw Vic out wearing my dog costume, even if I do get it back, the Living Stones will never let me in the house again, Sam. <laughs> Vic, give me my costume back. Like I wanted to keep it. You could have watched out. You nearly ruined all my efforts at passing as the perfect pooch. Let it be a lesson to you. I didn't ask to wear your crummy costume. Hey, and another thing. Are you ready to fess up that cats are better than dogs? <laughs> Not on your life, Vic. Okay, if that's the way it is, I'm keeping it. And don't expect me to play the perfect pooch. I am hopeless at dog stuff. The worst around. Wash, <laughs> Washington! My slippers! <laughs> Washington! My slippers! Sam, go tell Vic right this minute that I admit cats are better than dogs. And make her give me my costume back, please. Wash, you bad dog. Don't ever do that again. Otherwise, you're in for trouble. No, give me that, Washington. You've been a bad dog. You don't have a right to your... Washington, calm down! Stay there and don't move. It's punishment time for you, you naughty dog. Come on, girls. We're going to leave Washington on his own. He has to calm down. He's being punished. Wash, no, I mean, Vic, Wash told me to tell you that, uh, that cats, uh, no, the dogs are better than cats. What? Dogs are better than cats? If it's war Wash wants, he's gonna get it. Ah, peace and tranquility. It looks like Washington has finally calmed down. <laughs> Have you gone crazy? Who did that? Own up right this minute, or... Uh-oh! Uh Things are getting way out of hand! We better go warn Wash! What about my...
my costume. Is she gonna give it back? Yeah, I don't know. They cut it off into the yard, and Mr. Livingstone said you're punished and you have to stay on your own in the kitchen. You gotta stop bugging Vic. She's really mad. There's gonna be trouble. Huh? What? What kind of trouble? Ah! Washington, please calm down! What did you say to Victoria to wind her up like that? Exactly what you told me to say. The dogs are better than cats. Huh? Uh, no, that wasn't it. You naughty, naughty dog, Washington. Go to bed this instant. I shall decide what punishment you deserve. What's going on, honey? I don't know what's got into Washington. He's behaving dreadfully. Uh-oh. We better get your costume back and back. I have an idea. Try to tell the Livingstones that Victoria has disappeared. That way, she'll be forced to show herself without my costume and we'll be able to... Yeah. Oh, Victoria, you are so sweet. Not like bad, bad Washington. Imagine if Wash attacked Vic or one of our other lovable sweetie pies. He's already attacked a postman. What if the next time he bites? I hate to say this, but for the safety of all of us, we must call the animal pound, honey. It's our duty. No, this is the end. Wait. Washington is sick. Maybe that's why he's behaving like this. You're right, honey. I'll call the vet this instant. You have called Madame Your Vet of this veterinary clinic. I'm obviously really busy right now. So don't call back until you've forgotten your problem. Let's go for a little walk to clear our minds, honey. We'll give him a call when we get back. Vic, where did you put my costume? So tell me. Our cats. Yes, cats are better than dogs. But for Pete's sake, give me back my costume. If I don't get to play the perfect pooch when I get home, I'm done for. Seeing as you're such a good little doggy, you should be able to find your costume all on your lonesome. With your legendary sense of smell. No, 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 no! Why don't you use your nose like Vic said? Because I'm not a real dog, Eugenie. Just smell them. <laughs> they stink of cheesy feet. You can't smell anything else? Sure. In the background, there's something that smells good, a kind of perfume. That's Vic's aroma. She left her scent on the slippers when she ripped them apart. All you have to do is track down her odor. Visit everywhere she went, and eventually you're sure to find wherever she hid your costume. How do you know all that? You've never been a dog before. No, but in the forest, guys always kept stealing my acorns. So I had to learn to use my snout to find them. I found it. Vic hit my costume in the kibble. I can smell it. Where is it? Don't panic. It happens. It's what you call a false leap. Keep looking. There must be another trail. Going around in circles, are we? You cheat! As mock dogs go, I confess. I'm impressed with you. How about we make peace? How about we say a fox in dog disguise is equal to a cat? Like that idea? Look, honey. It looks like Wash is feeling better. Maybe we don't need to call the vet after all. Of course. It must be those vitamin-enriched bones that made him crazy like that. He must be allergic to them. I'll throw them away. It's silly, I know, but I think I finally developed a taste for them. <sighs> what? Only fools never change their minds, no? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Girls, it's not a game. The Livingstones are getting ready for Auntie Rachel to visit. Auntie Rachel? What's that? Auntie Rachels are a subspecies of humans who are a pain in the rear because they can't stand cats. <laughs> and dogs? Do they like dogs? <laughs> dogs 
Seriously, Wash? Does anyone actually like dogs? <laughs> Try and hang in there. It's only for a few days. I'm gonna prove to you that everybody loves dogs, Vic. Let the boss man do his shtick. And this should be a gas. Hey, Wash! Wash! <laughs> 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 Washington! Bad dog, leave Auntie alone! Oh! Now who is this splendid little creature? <laughs> oh no, my favorite pillow! No way is she Sit going to- Sit down here, my little BB! Ugh, I can't watch this! What a priceless treasure! The spitting image of Apricot! My darling BB when I was a little girl! Well, this one's our Washington! Sugar Auntie? Sugar, sugar, BB! Isn't that yummy, little BB? That was a good idea to get rid of that horrible critter you used to have. Boy, did she ever stink! Uh, what critter? Uh, Victoria? Uh, but we still have her, Auntie. In fact, I'll be honest, the family has gotten much bigger. Hey there, darlings! Come say hello to Auntie Rachel! Hey, you! Get lost, you disgusting creature, you! Show! Show! Oh, and Auntie's off her rocket! So you've got yourself three new stink balls? One wasn't enough? Sam, girls, go into the kitchen. We'll introduce you later, okay? Ta-da! Take a look at Auntie's BB, heavyweight champion of the world! Me! I win some sugar sugars too! BB! Ah, when I hear the word sugar sugar, sorry guys, duty call! No, it's not fair. And all that because he's wearing a BB costume and we're not. Ah, uh, come on, quit soaking. Let's go play hide and go pig. Great idea. But it's Wash's turn to play wolf. Don't worry, we'll go get him. Last one there is a stink bomb. Hey, Wash, you gotta come play hide and go pig with us? Oh, be sure, and it's my turn to play the wolf. Uh, uh, oh, BB. You're not playing with those ugly little stink balls. Shoo! Shoo! Out of here! No way is she gonna stop us from playing hide and go pig with Wash. Oh, oh, my! Oh, my! Oh, my! Oh, oh, my! Oh, my! Oh, my! Oh, my! Oh, my! Is everything okay, Auntie? Things couldn't be worse. Those stink balls of yours are bothering my baby and me. We're going for a walk. Yeah? Uh, very well. Uh, have a nice walk? Have a nice walk? And where, pray tell, is the stroller? The... the... stroller? Well, of course! You don't think BB's going to walk on all fours, do you? And bring me his coat, too, please! <laughs> Washington? Washington? <laughs> you going to a costume party? Because I have never seen such a stuff. Whoa, check out Mommy's darling little doggy. Hey, sweetheart, you want to make some room in your taxi for us? <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a pretty collar. Look at that, BB. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Washington, he really doesn't look very good. <laughs> yeah, right. Sugar Sugar Galore is singing color. Sir Wash is leading the high life. He just doesn't have time to play hide and go pig with his friends anymore. He's got no choice, Sam. If we could only somehow console him. I've got an idea. Just make sure you're ready, okay?
Well, I've seen better days. Better? You've got a musical collar, sugar sugar galore, go for a stroll in a stroller. You're a star, buddy, a star. What more do you want, a mountain of sausages? You just don't understand, Sam. We dreamed of all that, sure, but with Auntie Rachel, it's not a dream. It's a nightmare. I'd rather go back and live in the forest. Hey, cheer up. It'll be over soon. Auntie will leave and everything will go back to normal. Red alert! Annie's on a rampage! Oh, what a patch! Yeah. If she thinks for one second she can fool Auntie Rachel, she's the dumbest bird I've ever seen. The first boat out of here tomorrow morning. We? You got it. Ribby and me. I'm certainly not leaving him in this circus with a bunch of thieves and stink balls. Certainly not, Auntie. Washington is part of our family. Very well, then. I'll just have to move in here. I'll have my mail forwarded tomorrow. <laughs> well, actually, you're right. It's going to be hard for us, but we really can't deprive Washington of a dream life with you. Go on. Wash? His paw prints. He'd rather go back and live in the forest than with that crazy old bat? I don't believe it. He really left? Oh, poor Wash. We have to go find him. <gasps> We've got to first get rid of Auntie, otherwise Wash will never want to come home. But Auntie will never leave without her BB. If you're interested, I've got an idea. It's not like I really want to see Washington return to the house, but if it might help me get my favorite pillow back. Baby has disappeared, and I won't leave without him! costume. Yeah, well, um, we should have it any minute now. Don't worry, we got everything totally under control. I heard that now they make you kibble for cat. Do you really, really want me to get Wash's costume for you? Washington. We just dropped him like an old sock. We really are bad masters. Whoa. Mm -hmm. oh. Washington? Good dog! You came home. Oh no! But then Auntie's going to come back too! Mm -hmm. Here we are, Pepe! All we've got now is home, Pepe! Honey, we got a card from Annie Rachel. Can keep Wash, she says. She has just adopted an ostrich who reminds her of Cherry, the ostrich she had when she was a little girl. See, Wash, but if she comes back one day. Yes, yeah, Sam, promise. You can still keep the collar.
Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Of course not. I just got back from the hairdresser. <laughs> Boy, that's funny, Sam. Have mercy. Please, not them. We've come to keep you company, Vic. And guess what? <laughs> Sam's got a super funny joke to tell you. So, there's this wild boar who goes into a supermarket don't and... Don't you guys have anything better to do? Like, I don't know, going to see if I'm not somewhere else? But how can you be somewhere else if you're here? of you, Mrs. Livingstone. Thank you so much for looking after my nephew while I'm at the dentist. <laughs> ah, I almost forgot. Here's a list of all of Donald's allergies. <laughs> oh, I just bet that you love cookies. Only if they're gluten-free and without peanuts or eggs. Huh? How about a glass of water, then? Is it filtered? Hmm. What a nice kid. Hello there, Donald. How are you today? Ah! Oh! A cat! A cat! I'm allergic! Ah, ah, ah! Get rid of it now! Oh, right. Here it is. Allergic to cats. Sorry, Vic, but you can't stay here. Ah, <laughs> Only for a few hours, big girl. So, Vic, you got thrown out, did you? It was because of... <gasps> hey, Vic, look at my new hat. Do you like it? Funny, isn't it? Uh, actually, I just came outside to tell you that Donald was here, and he just loves big cats. You, yeah? Really? And what's more, he brought tons of cat candy for us. Yeah? For us? Yep. But you better hurry up, Sam. There's not much left. Countdown. Three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa, oh, super! What? <laughs> Finally, a cat that I'm not allergic to. This is the best day of my life. What does allergic mean? You're allergic when you come into contact with things that you can't stand. Like when I have to take a shower? No, no, more like things you eat or cat hair, for example. Yeah, but Sam isn't a real cat. Yeah. Precisely. And He's that's why Donald isn't sneezing. <laughs> and why His Highness is allowed inside. We're going to have so much fun together. <laughs> it's kind of strange that Donald's not sneezing, isn't it? Yeah, but in the meantime, somebody's really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Have all the luck. Ah, come on, Vic. It's just for the day. And besides, the weather's great. You were saying? Woohoo! Let's go jump in the puddle! <laughs> <laughs> <It's so weird. laughs> You've got a big metal scar in your chest. I was operated on for appendicitis, too. Did yours hurt? Did you cry? Let me see. <laughs> Everything cool? Uh, no, nothing's cool. You can't continue playing with him. You 
why not? I like that groove. Because he's gonna figure out you're not a real cat. Come on now, follow me. Hey, I don't wanna go outside. And besides, it's raining. Yeah, well, when you get sent back to the forest, you're gonna have rain every day. <laughs> Let them play together. It makes Donald so happy. It's my cat, bad dog! <laughs> it's only for a few hours, Wash. Go on, go! <laughs> Take a breath, Vic. Take a deep breath. Giddy up, horsey! Giddy up! If this keeps up, I'm gonna have to pull out the heavy artillery. Sam, be nice, will you? is enough. Come on, let's go play doctor. <laughs> Stop, you mean bad doggy. You're going to ruin my kid again. <laughs> Washington, stop it, will you? <laughs> you do that again, Wash. There will be no kibble for you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Decision's made. I'm going to find myself some new owner somewhere near a beach in the sunny south. We're gonna give you a checkup, Mr. Cat. Open your mouth wide and say, ah! <laughs> Open your mouth, cat! <laughs> <laughs> Quick, Sam! Let's get a move on! <laughs> Donald, where are you? Your aunt is here. Time to go home. I want to stay with the big cat. Come on now, Donald. You know that's impossible. I want to keep him. I've never had a cat of my own. Actually, Sam could spend the rest of the day with Donald after all. It's right next door. Great idea. Donald, we'll let you keep Sam for the rest of the day. And after, you'll put him back in our yard, okay? <laughs> Run for your life! <laughs> <laughs> Never find us in here. Hey there, I was here first. Victoria? What are you doing in here? What does it look like? I'm having tea. Really? Of course not. I'm in here because of that nasty little brat. How I would just love to leap on him and give him the allergy of a lifetime. Hey, you've just given me a great idea, Vic. If Donald hugs a real cat, then he'll get a real allergy. Am I right or what? Except that he wants me, and I'm not a real cat. I'm a wild boar dressed up to look like a cat. Exactly. Not even in your dreams, Wash. There's no other way, Vic. I'd rather eat a bag of rotten kibble. Please. <laughs> the answer is no. You can have the parasol all for yourself. Mm -hmm. And the fan. And the fan. For the whole summer. For the whole summer. Way 
leaner than you were earlier. <laughs> Must be all that exercise he's been getting with you. You big kitty cat! That's not Sam! Meow? And that's not even Sam's meow! Hmm. It's true. He is much lighter. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, this is bad! <laughs> to be okay, Donald. No! I'm going to get you cold now! I'll get you a sweater right away. Uh, can you lend us a towel and a hair dryer? Get out of the costume, hey, thing. your paw! Hurry up! Uh. Uh. What a monster! I want to go home! <laughs> What's his problem? Never seen a two-headed cat? <laughs> Oh, come on, Vic. Give us a bit of the fan, huh? Sorry. A deal's a deal. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Livingstone. Do you mind if I leave my kids with you while I go do some shopping? No way. <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Let the pro show you how it's done. <laughs> Whoa! 37.8! No way! Right turn, right turn! Move it, Rush! <laughs> so, so, what's my score? Sam, how do you expect us to know? You broke the scale! Yeah, that's too easy. As soon as I'm about to win, you always come up with an excuse that I lose. You were already doing that back in the forest. Lunch is ready. Huh? <laughs> Your kibble tastes super weird today, doesn't it? What, are you kidding? This is awesome as usual. So, little Sammy, you don't like your brand new kibble extra light? Yeah. With our new Kibble Extra and five vegetables and sawdust fiber, you'll be a skinny cat in just weeks. Vic, what do you say we trade Kibble, huh? Between us cats. Um, no. Okay, well then if that's how it's going to be, I guess I'll be seeing you guys later. Wash, Vic, the Living Stones. Nobody understands me. Luckily, you're here. You know, if I stay here, it's only because of you. In ancient Egypt, cats were the preferred pets of the pharaohs. Considered to be gods, cats were so adored and revered that they were protected yeah. by all Egyptians. And they lived in temples that were built in honor of Bestet, the Egyptian cat goddess of love. Bastet? The Egyptian cat goddess? Why don't we suggest playing tag with him? He loves that. I'm sure it'll lift his spirits. Sam! Sam! Oh, come on! Some people are asleep around here. Besides, your friend has gone outside. Sam! 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 What in the world are you doing? I'm leaving for Egypt. At least there, everybody will revere me. What does revere mean? That means that everyone will love me, and I'll be able to eat whatever I want, and not just a little bowl of extra light kibble. Sounds awesome. Is Egypt far? 
No idea, but it's worth a trip. In Egypt, everybody pampers cats. That's because my ancestor was a cat goddess. Pretty classy, huh? But Sam, you're not even a real cat. <laughs> Is he leaving for good? Of course not, he's leading us on. He's just doing it so we'll give him our kibble, because he doesn't like his new extra light kibble. Mm -hmm. I give him 10 seconds before he changes his mind and comes home. Farewell, and kiss my darling Timmy goodbye for me. Gosh, <laughs> are you really sure that Sam is taking us for a ride? Sam, stop. It's true we haven't been very nice to you, but if you stay, you won't regret it. I promise we'll take great care of you. As much as they do in Egypt? Way more! Okay, I'll stay a little bit longer, just to see. <laughs> really? For me? Of course! Me kibble as two kibble, amigo. <laughs> and what would you say to playing your all-time favorite game, Sam? Tag, Sam! Okay, but under one condition, we play Egyptian tag. Sam, if we play tag, we... Okay! All right, the rules are simple. I met you, see, but you guys have to be super duper nice to me. And if you manage that, I'll stay. Otherwise, I go to Egypt. Understand? Yay! Yay! Let's go! Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Hey, uh, come on, can we play some other game now? Wash, we just started. Come on, try a little harder. You promised to make Sam happy. No, how about taking me for a little ride to help me digest all this food? He was the greatest of cats who filled us with joy and glee. His ancestors, the Egyptians, considered him the height of feline beauty. The secret cat he was, he left even the dogs in the Left even the dogs and all. Are you serious? Yep, that's right, Alvarez. I saw it on TV. My ancestor was a goddess. A goddess? And what was her name? <laughs> it was the goddess Samses. And this is her descendant, Samses II. Glory be to Samses II, goddess of the heavens. Wash? Samsies the second wants to continue his royal stroll. Yeah, well, his majesty still has some paws. How about he gets some exercise? Oh, so I see. That's how you think cats are treated in Egypt, Wash? I can't take any more of this. If you want to leave, just go ahead. It'll give me a vacation. Yeah? You don't seriously think I would abandon my people because you're in a bad mood, do you? <laughs> I'm staying, Wash. Yeah! You decided to stop playing the clown for your buddy? What's his name again? Samsies 2. Numerous cats have been mummified in the pyramids. These mummies were meant to accompany the dead pharaohs during their final voyage. <laughs> Can you just imagine our Samsies 2 in a pyramid amongst all those mummies? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, oh great Samsies 2? No, it's a bit small. Should be way bigger, like in Egypt. Yeah, but we're not in Egypt, and you're not a cat, but a wild boar, so this will have to do. Me? A wild boar? Samsies, too, is in no way related to a disgusting creature. <laughs> I told him. Seriously, who does he think he is? Don't worry, Eugenie. We're gonna remind Sam who he really is. Do you know what mummies are, girls? <laughs> are you ready, girls? Yeah! yeah! Hi.
Bozo snoring. Enough already. Oh. <laughs> Eugenie, Susie, get rid of that horrible mosquito. He's disturbing my precious sleep, will you? Me? A horrible mosquito? <laughs> <laughs> Samsies too. We are mummies sent by your ancestors, and we have been ordered to bring you back to the pyramid. Uh, thanks for the invite. I'm really tempted, you know, but uh, actually, I think I prefer staying here with my people. Yeah, well, no. Your ancestors are waiting for you in Egypt, so you gotta go now. Yeah? Are you sure about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just give me 30 seconds, okay? I gotta go get some kibble for the trip, and uh, be right back. Ah! Honey, did you hear all that ruckus? Honey, there's somebody in the living room. No, there isn't. It's just the animals having a little party. You really think so? They usually sleep like logs. And what if it was the same intruder who broke our bathroom scale? <laughs> Have mercy, please! This is all a big mistake! I'm just a friend of the Millwater Board, not a sacred cat! Look! Ah. Ah. Honey, there's a wild boar and three mummies in the living room! Do you think that's who broke our bathroom scale? Of course not. You just had a nightmare, that's all. You think so? Sam, put your costume back on right this second or we'll be sent back to the forest. I don't care. I'd rather go back to the forest than find myself stuck inside a pyramid with you guys. Sorry, you'll never get me. Are you okay, Sam? Eugenie, Susie, you managed to get rid of the money? Sam, quick, put this on. You see, honey, I was right. They were just having fun with the toilet paper, that's all. Come on, guys. You can sleep in our room tonight. That way, there'll be no more fooling around. Yay! And I think that in Egypt, I would have had sausages for breakfast. Yeah, but you'd be with a bunch of mummies deep inside a pyramid and not here with us at the Living Stones. You're right. Things aren't that bad here after all. But... Extra light kibble! I can't believe it! The Living Stones made a mistake! Do you really huh? think so? Sam? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. Veronica, I have a confession to make. I love you. Jesus served. Get it, Sam! Get it! How very odd! Sam didn't even try to catch that mouse. Do you think he's sick? <laughs> It'll be fine, darling. Everything's okay. Breathe deep. I cannot bear mice. I never could. When I was little, I was pursued by mice. You wouldn't think so, but they can be ferocious. Sam, what was that about? You're supposed to be a cat. And cats are supposed to chase mice. They love doing that. Chase mice? Are you crazy? They run way too fast. All cats chase mice, I'm telling you! If you don't, the Living Stones might start wondering about that and realize that you're not a real cat! Are you sure? Yes, and if they found that out, you know what would happen. 
we'd be forced to return to the forest, condemned to endless wandering in cold and darkness. <sighs> As for acting like a cat, Sam's far from winning the Academy Award. But for the worst melodramatic lead, you've got a good chance, Washington. Cool it, Vic. You couldn't understand. Nothing to panic about. I just have to revise our cohabitation contract with Biscuit. Biscuit? Biscuit, the mouse. He leaves the living stones alone, and in exchange, I give him a hefty piece of cheese every year, according to delivery. You do? Why don't you just pounce on him and chase him off and all that? Why should I? The Living Stones provide us with delicious kibble three times a day. Okay, should we do the usual? This year, Swiss cheese or Parmesan? Both. Both? Are you kidding? It's complicated enough finding one single piece of quality cheese. You want two? Hmm, I think you have a big problem on your paws in any case. How do you mean big? A cat who prefers cheese to mice? Bizarre, no? Mm, not in the least. I myself am tempted at times by a bit of blue cheese or cheddar. That's right. At times. The only explanation I can come up with is that creature is not a real cat. <laughs> this guy here, not a cat? Ridiculous! Sam is definitely a cat. Oh, and quite some cat, too. Right, Sam? You're a cat, aren't you? Meow! Meow right now! <laughs> Meow? <laughs> like I said, perhaps someone ought to open the Living Stone's eyes to this problem. <laughs> What's that? Let's just say if I happen to be in the right place at the right time, I could show them that their darling little cat doesn't behave like a real cat at all. They might end up understanding. You wouldn't dare. I've already disposed of bigger dudes than this. How do you mean big? Let's not get all worked up about this. Surely we can find some common ground on the subject. Anyway, one piece of cheese, two pieces of cheese. <laughs> what difference does it make? Cats do not make deals with mice. The matter is closed. If you want me, you won't find me. We can't just wait around and do nothing. Biscuit has threatened to reveal our secret without warning. We have no choice. We must teach Sam to chase mice. Yay, why me? Because you're the cat! And we'll have the same problem every time a mouse sneaks into this house. <laughs> Susie, you be the mouse. Run and don't stop until Sam catches you. Here we go! <laughs> what are you doing? Since we're about to be evicted, I'm taking advantage of the TV one last time. A hunter among hunters. The leopard can remain hidden for a very long time. A very, very long time. Sam, you are a genius! Okay, running isn't your strength, but waiting around without doing anything at all, that is your specialty. And? And so we just have to use the leopard method. Wait in ambush for Biscuit. Maybe we should just give Biscuit what he wants. <laughs> like cheese? And where do we find loads of cheese? Go, go! In the garbage! Listen carefully, Sam. There are three rules. Reactivity, reactivity, and most of all, whatever happens, reactivity. Can you repeat the second one? As soon as Biscuit appears, you grab him and toss him in the bag. Simplicity, efficiency, reactivity. I get it. Things are going to reactivity. Yeah. Grab Biscuit, put him in your bag. Reactivity. Grab Biscuit, reactivity. Hi, dude. How are things? <laughs> Not bad, thanks. Just kind of hungry. Otherwise, great. Hey, I was just about to make myself a sandwich in the kitchen. Want me to bring you one? That is so cool! Thank you! <laughs> gotcha! I had my doubts, but this is so obvious. You are not a cat! Yay! Yay! Not so fast, rat face! <laughs> Hurry, Sam! You gotta catch him! Mm. 
Reactivity. Reactivity. Rip is the new thing already. Reactivity. Flash is on the sofa. <laughs> Lucky with stale Swiss cheese for the rest of my years. They don't know who they're up against. Better now? Do you feel calmer? No, I do not. I will when those two so called cats get rid of that disgusting rodent. <laughs> yeah? oh, no! Hurry, Sam! Now's the time to be more cat like than all the cats in the world put together. <laughs> Can't be happening. Yeah? What is wrong with this cat? Can't even catch a mouse? Where's Victoria? Hey, it's just a matter of time before the Living Stones realize that you're not a real cat. Fancy a piece of cheese? <laughs> I'm begging you, Vic. Help us. Cats do not make deals with mice. If you don't help us, we're done for. You've got to teach Sam how to chase mice. Sam is at a breaking point, Vic. That mouse threatens to reveal his true identity at any moment. That guy can't sleep. Just look at him. He's a zombie. Well, the zombie sure has an appetite. <laughs> what Sam needs to catch Biscuit, I mean, apart from endurance, style, and technique, is a motive. What do you mean? What motive? If you can come up with a very good reason for him to go after that stupid mouse, he will. <laughs> a motive. Motivation. Get it? Aha! <laughs> I'm not so sure this is a good idea, darling. Well, I'm not gonna sit around and do nothing until our cats decide to take action. Look what I found, Sam! Your favorite cookies! Uh, actually, I'm not sure I'm gonna give you one. I wonder if you really, really want one. <laughs> well, in that case, I could give you the whole packet. Oh, yes, oh, yes! But only if you manage to catch Biscuit. Then you can eat all of these cookies. <laughs> Boy, Sam! For good? Nice work, Mr. Cat. We did it! We found some cheese! We're saved! Uh -oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, 
a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Exterminatrix? What a joke. We don't need pest control. We've got two cats. They'll keep us mouse free. Hey, where did Sam go? <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Sam, what do you think you're doing? Hey, I'm just hanging out with Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> but, Sam, you know very well that cats don't hang out with mice. It's against the law. Cats are meant to chase mice. Why? This kid is my buddy. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm your buddy. Dogs are a cat's best friend, not mice, okay? That's not true. This kid gives me cheese. When's the last time you gave me any cheese? But, Sam, look at him. He's taking you for a ride. It's obvious he's hatched some plan in the back of his mind. Hmm. I don't see anything hatching in the back of his mind. Listen, Biscuit isn't doing this out of friendship. He's doing this so that you leave him alone and he can have free run of the Livingstone's house. It's blatantly obvious. And what is blatantly obvious to me is that you have zero cheese to give me and that you're totally jealous that Biscuit and I are big buddies. <laughs> Vic! Biscuit is in the kitchen. You gotta go chase! <sighs> in your dreams. Biscuit and I came to an agreement two years ago, so I don't have to go chasing anything. An agreement? What agreement? <sighs> See you later. <laughs> oh. Is your cat too old? Or oh, perhaps too dumb? Does he fall asleep every time he sees a mouse? Then call the Exterminatrix! Your 24-7 emergency pest control solution! Huh? Uh, row, 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 row! What's got into you? That's enough, Washington! Row, 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 row! Whoa, 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 row, row! Honey, whoa, can't whoa, you see row. he wants to play? All right, but then sleepy time, okay? Come on, whoa, whoa, fetch, whoa, little whoa, doggy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. go fetch, Washington. Maybe he wants more. What in the... What's got into you, Washington? Ah, the mouse! Sam, catch the mouse! If you so much as lift a finger, you can kiss goodbye to cheese forever. Get it? Mm-hmm. Oh, this time we need a real specialist. <laughs> it was horrible. It was like the mouse had cast some weird spell on Sam. Hello, exterminatrix? Alfie Snout, a.k.a. the Exterminatrix, at your service. I cannot bear mice. I never could. When I was little, I was pursued by mice. You wouldn't think so, but they can be ferocious. Uh, I smell a rat. I'll be back later. Ciao! Don't worry, sir. I've got the solution. Wow, see that, girls? We're dealing with a true professional. What's going on? Oh, there's this weird guy who turned up. No idea what he's doing here. So oh, where's the crime scene? <laughs> there! Mission accomplished! Sam, there's nothing we can do. That's just the way the world works. The mouse turns up, the mouse gets caught. And nobody can do nothing about it. Do you need a handkerchief? Not at all. Before I became a mouse detector, I was what they once called a nose. 
I work for the greatest perfumers, Bilberry, Kevin Clown, even Coco Caramel. Caramel number five was my own. Until one day when my assistant, jealous of my success, sneaked wild animal fur into my latest perfume, which gave the perfume a disgusting scent and ruined my reputation. How horrible. Horrible, yes. The stinking odor of wild animals has never left me. And I can tell you, you've got much more than mice here. What do you mean? You don't want to know. I've got it all figured out. How what? about you go for a nice walk around the block? I'll take care of this. Oh, what's going on? It's the middle of the night. Our dear little pets have to... There are wild animals in here. I'd bet my nose on it. Don't worry, guys. I'll get rid of those stinky critters and two shakes of a skunk's tail. With my amazing sense of smell, I never miss my target. Let the hunt begin. All the exits are blocked. We're done for. You'll send this bag to the forest for sure. Never. Follow me. Smells great, huh? It's Biscuit's cheese stash. Vic, what are you doing here? I, I, I know it's wrong, but I so love cheese. It's too delicious. So I came to this agreement with Biscuit. He supplies the cheese, and in exchange, I leave him alone. What? You both made the same deal with Biscuit? Don't you see? That's why we're being hounded by that maniac, and now we're inches away from being sent back to the forest. It is. If you hadn't woken up the living stones... What? You did that? Because of you, my buddy Biscuit got captured? Of course not, Sam. Biscuit isn't your buddy. I'm your buddy. <laughs> Somebody you are. You snake in the grass. Get me out of here. I'm sorry, Sam. I'm sorry. Sam, you're my best friend. I'd do anything for you. <laughs> if you want, I'll go free Biscuit myself. Go on. And if you do release him, maybe I will deign to look at you again. How are you gonna do that? Mm -hmm. I shall hide inside a piece of cheese to conceal my wild animal odor. So? So the exterminatrix won't be able to smell me anymore. And all I'll have to do is sneak up to his backpack and release Biscuit. Wash, you're amazing. I'll come with you. <laughs> I don't believe it. I've lost their trail. Sam, now's the moment. Let's go. That's weird. It's like the wild animal stink has been replaced by something else. It's not polecat. It's not skunk. It's, it's, it's worse. A totally new species. I'm about to discover a totally new species. It looks like Wash's plan hasn't turned out so good. What an incredible odor. It's disgusting. I've never smelled anything like it. Quick, we gotta help them! Uh-uh. Totally out of the question. It's a great plan. It's sure to work. Girls, you really think I'm gonna parade around dressed in a stinky cheese in front of that guy just to save Sam and Wash? What if I get caught? That's just it! It won't matter! There's no danger for you! You're just a standard issue pet cat! Standard issue, huh? I see. The answer is no. <sighs> I wonder what the cats in the hood would think if they found out that you stuff your face with <gasps> cheese in secret. Especially in exchange for a mouse's freedom. Uh, it's okay, I was just kidding. Of course I'm going to help you, on one condition. You never say a word to anybody. Promise. So, what's the cheese with the biggest stink? No, please, have mercy. Not the seven-year chabashu. <laughs> A new odor. What is it? It's, it's incredible. Even worse than the last one. It smells like a species that doesn't even exist. I'm about to discover a species that doesn't even exist. The 
That's enough. What's going on? Let us in! Sam, hit his legs and make him fall. When he's on the ground, we release Biscuit. Mission accomplished. Now everyone, head for shelter. Victory! I've got you now, you vile, unidentified creature with your putrid odor. Thanks to you, I'll be famous again. I have just saved your home from a new species of wild animal, as yet unidentified, but especially ferocious. What have you done to our cat? Why is she covered in cheese? Well, I, I, I don't get it. My sense of smell has never let me down before. I'm so sorry. I really am. Uh, but I did catch the mouse. At least that's something. Yeah. <laughs> This is amazing! Make the most of it. Not every day will be like this. It's only because you saved my skin. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Everybody hooked up? Yeah! The Wild Bunny Express is ready to go! All aboard! Cheers! Watch out! Tunnel coming up! Uh-oh. The Friday Express. Next stop, nowhere! <sighs> Phew, I'm exhausted. Time for a nice cup... Uh, what? But what's happening here? Ouch. Looks like the Wild One Express has reached the end of the line. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oops. Were you the ones who made all that mess? Uh, looks like we're really in for it now. We're to blame, too. They need space alicious and arrogance to stretch their legaroos. Hmm. Arrogance? Space alicious? What are you talking about? They need space. They need air. They need to stretch their legs. Let's go to the forest. <laughs> Mr. Livingstone, you are one of a kind. I simply adore you. <laughs> oh, no. You remember the last time we went to the forest? <laughs> There's me thinking we were off the hook. Me too. Get adventure and commune with Mother Nature. No barriers, no fences. Let's drop all our defenses. Well done, guys. Thanks to you, I want a trip to the forest. You're on your own on this one. We'll never survive in the forest, Wash. We're not wild anymore. Calm down. I may have an idea to get us back home fast, but we'll all have to pitch in. You too, Victoria. <laughs> um, okay. Maybe not you, Vic. <laughs> Nature in the hood. The adventure's looking good. <laughs> Looks like you can't wait to stretch those legaroos. That's perfect. We have everything we need. Uh, you think this is gonna work, Wash? Completely. We all go out, we wear them down, and when they're on their knees, all they'll want to do is jump straight back in the car and head home. Go!
wash. Exhausting is the word. So, when can we go home where it's nice and warm? Soon. Take a look over there. I'm beat. Where's my bed? I gotta lie down. Incredible. I gotta admit, I'm impressed. Yeah, I know. I'm amazing. Everybody, back in the car. We How about we stay the whole weekend? What? <sighs> Great idea. Looks like they love the forest. They're having a ball. In the meantime, we could get some shut eyes. Luckily, I planned ahead. One tent in, two seconds flat. <laughs> but, but, but I was sure. What happened? Oh, no, what a shame. We're going to have to go home. I also planned ahead. You're the best, Vic. I admit, it was a good idea. Not a great idea, but a good idea. Well, how about we build ourselves a cabin? Even better! I'll go fetch the wood. And I'll go fetch food. Let's live wild! <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've seen enough. Let's face it, guys. I'm pretty sure we need a plan B. G guys? Guys? Girls? Where are you guys? I gotta say, this mud bath sure does you good. Hey! Get out of there! If anybody sees you, living wild like an angry child, living free like a big green tree. Honey, I have the wood! We're off to get adventure and commute with Mother Nature. <laughs> What's got it into you? You nearly blew our cover. Sorry, Wash. There was no resisting. It's my instincts. Me too. I can feel my instincts coming back. It's the forest. We have to find some way back home and fast. Otherwise, we're going to turn back into wild beasts. But uh, that's the answer. Hmm. Let's see. What do we have here? Metals, berries, roots, acorns. Ouch! Uh, no, that's a pebble. <laughs> Of course there are, honey. It's nature, you know. There's roe deer, squirrels... <laughs> boars and foxes? <laughs> Head to the car! <laughs> Hear that, my friends? Head to the car? That means we're going home! Yeah! Listen! The engine's already running! Quick! <laughs> yeah. Where are the living stones? That wasn't the engine! It's Vic snoring! Vic! 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 <laughs> oh, so you came back. The living stones aren't with you? Well, no, that's just it. We thought they were up the car. You should have seen it, Vic. Wash and Sam played it being wild beasts and scared them off. They took to their heels like rabbits. How are we going to get home now if we don't even know where they are? I'm warning you, Wash. I refuse to spend one more second in this lousy forest, so you'd better find them if you know what's good for you. It was all part of my plan. What's the problem? Okay, guys, let's make like I said. Yeah, what was your plan again? I can't remember. Play along, Sam. Oh, where has that dumb car gone? We're... we're lost. Darling, what if those wild beasts come back? Now, now, don't panic. Nothing's going to happen to us. Using my legendary fox sense of smell, we'll find our masters in... <laughs> the Living Stones, quick, this way! Yeah, that's Mitch's cave! Maybe he's gobbled up Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone! And we'll never get to go home again! Look at him! This is one cute bear! So much cuter than the bear that invaded our bedroom! I was so afraid! Oh, Teddy! What a lovely, fluffy teddy bear! What? Look who's here! They found us! Well done, guys! Come and say hello to our new friend! He's adorable! Hi, guys. Welcome to my home. 
You know what, honey? I've just had the craziest idea. How about we hang out here for a few days? Mr. Livingstone, I adore you more and more. <laughs> it looks like we're going to be living together. <laughs> Okay, Vic. I've got something to confess. We couldn't find the living stones. We're gonna have to live in the forest for the rest of our lives. No hard feelings, huh? I warned you! Mmm. Thank you, honey. What a delicious feast! This bear is so adorable, don't you think, honey? Mm -hmm. What's happened to Wash? He's not going to leave us alone with Mitch, is he? I'm back, my friend. Ah! <laughs> uh, perhaps he's not such a cute teddy bear after all. There is something slightly wild about him. The car! Well done, Wash. Good dog. Honey, wait. Safety first. Let's go home. Yeah, honey. We're we through with stre stretching our like a ruse. Oh. Thanks for the claw job, Vic. I gotta confess, you found a pretty good way out for once. <laughs> Next time I swear I'll have my payback. Mm, those pine cones are quite good. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Skim. There is no scam, Vic. It's plain to see. That's magic. Sorry to ruin your dream, Sam, but magic does not exist. Of course magic exists. My grandpa had a magic flute that could magic everybody and everything. Even when he was hungry, Grandpa Zachary would toot on his flute and chicken would come running straight out, bewitched by its magic spell. Really? It's totally true. And because he spent his time eating everything in sight, Grandpa Zachary lost all his teeth. If that's not proof, what is? It's baloney. That's what it is. You know what? My grandpa had a pixie tambourine, and whenever he shook it, everyone started talking humbug. Say, he must have been buddies with your grandpa, Wash. Ha <laughs> 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 ha, very funny. I could bring you back a magic flute, no problem, Vic. Okie dokie, you do that. In the meantime, I'm going to conjure myself up some magic shut-eye. Abracadabra! Who are you going to try it out on? There are no chickens around here. No need for chickens. We got Vic. Yeah, it's true that Vic sure does smell good. She must taste amazing. Not to eat her, Sam. We have to prove to her that magic exists. I'm going to magic her with my flute. Here, put these on your ears. That'll save you from falling under the magic spell. But what are you going to use? It's a traditional fox flute. 
Foxes are protected from it. Say, Vic, could you please lend us your cushion? Sure, no problem. Whatever you want. Come on, take a seat. Don't stand on ceremony. Whoa! Reckon she could bring us some kibble, too? Sure, no problem. Feel free to ask me whatever you like. Don't be shy. Can we try your flute? Come on, can we try? Come on, please! Sorry, girls, it's a traditional fox flute. Only works with foxes. Aww. If that's the way it is, we're going to make our very own magic flute. Yeah! A super-duper flute in the canary rabbit tradition! Whoa! Thanks, Vic! Thanks, Vic. Now, make like a banana and split, would you? Sure. With pleasure. <laughs> so, Sam, if this isn't the life, huh? Kibble and a couch and a cushion. Bless. <laughs> if we didn't wear these dumb costumes, life would be heaven. <laughs> hey, Wash, how about you magic the living stone so that they let us hang around the house without our costumes on? Smart idea. Only problem is, I don't know if my flute works on humans. I've never tried. <laughs> Perfect! We can make our flute from this! Hey, it's the sculpture I made in art class. I wondered what had happened to that. Oh, amazing. You found it, honey. I should have dug deeper. You know what, honey? This has made me want to start sculpture again. <laughs> I'm going to get myself a big block of marble to make a sculpture even bigger, and we'll put it in the living room, huh? Yeah. Wash, how are we going to find out if the magic flute has worked on the living stones? They always get so starry-eyed about everything. Oh. If the flute's magic has really worked, they'll understand everything I say. Could you possibly take a band of wild animals into your home, please? Of course. Anything you want. We have a fox in the house. Amazing! Wow! A wild boar! I've always dreamed of living with a wild boar. How about we welcome them with one of our special homemade smoothies? Life is gonna be good here! Yeah! This will be better than anything ever! This magic flute is awesome! Say, let's give it a go! <gasps> Whoa! What in the world is that? It's a magic flute, Play-Doh. Maybe it's not so magic as we thought it was. Maybe you didn't blow hard enough. Yeah! <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> oh! no! A, a bar! What happened, Wash? The magic flute spell has been broken by that weird sound. Quick, cover your ears, Sam. <laughs> 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 Could you possibly remove the jar off my head, please? Of course. Anything you Here, want. Let me help you, and we'll go fetch you another special smoothie. <laughs> that stuff sure smells weird. And what's more, it's disgusting. I gotta wash this stuff off. And one certainly couldn't wear outfits like this in the 21st century. They'd be thrown in the garbage immediately. Oh, of course, anything you want. You should be ashamed of yourself, scaring honest dogs like that. Look what you've done to that boy. Sure, it does the same thing when I blow. Why haven't they been magic like with Wash's flute? Maybe we're not playing the right note. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you okay, Sam? Yeah, I'm great. Happy is the burger in the bun. What do you want to watch? Hey, what's wrong with you? That's the first time you've ever let me choose a program where you're the one holding the remote. 
Don't tell me the flute is magic to you, too! Huh? Honey, was it your crazy idea to zap up this chocolate soap and radish smoothie? No, I, uh... Weren't we going to look for a block of marble for my new statue? I think we better get our costumes back on, Sam. No, they're in the dumpster. In the dumpster? Who put them in the dumpster? Uh, I did. Yeah, it, it was the woman on the TV. She told me to do it. <laughs> it's you making those weird noises? How did you do that? Just like this. <laughs> he really doesn't work like Wash's flute. Come on, let's go ask him. Wash? Wash? Where are you? <sighs> Do you think this flute works on people on the TV, too? Now are we going to get to the junkyard without our costumes? <laughs> Can you drop us off somewhere, please? Of course, whatever you want. Come on, get in. See you soon, guys. Look after yourselves. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Those guys from the pound are really cool. Why are we usually so afraid of them? Hmm. It works even less than in the yard. They haven't even reacted. In my opinion, it's because the show is pre-recorded. You're right. I'll find another show. As this footage shows, right now as I speak, a fox and a wild boar are at large in the local junkyard. There is no cause for concern. The site guardian and his faithful hound have the problem under control. Whoop! Wash and Sam? Now's the moment to see if our flute really works. Here, our costumes! They're gonna recycle them! Gee, wait for me! <laughs> Get your earmuffs on, Sam. Shh, you're gonna wake up the guard. Titan? Quiet! Keep the noise down. I know. It's because he wants to play. Come on, boy, punch! There, that got him. So, but... I think thanks are in order. Wild animals in my junkyard? You have exactly five seconds to get out of here. Five... Our costumes, Wash! Two, one! Ah. Ah. Right on time! can I do for you? After all that running around, a massage would be most welcome. Hey, Vic, Vic, seen our amazing flute? No! You can also bring us your share of kibble. Right here in a bowl, please. Hmm. Anything else? I expect you're wanting a massage, too, while you're at it. Ah, oh, that was too good to be true. What on earth was that horrible sound? Titan? Titan? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret.
What is it? Is it edible? Hey, look! Vic and the living stones have disappeared! Uh, maybe that thing swallowed them up! No! It's obvious! This is a device specially designed to gaze at the stars! Mm -hmm. There are stars on the box! Loads of them! Look! <laughs> you can't eat it, Jelly Brain. It's something humans use for parties. Party time! Whoa, cool it, girls. The party isn't here. It's at Mr. Livingstone's mom's house. It's for her birthday. Our masters forgot to take the box when they left. What? It's his mom's birthday? You're not going to the forest, are you? You're crazy! Today is also my mom's birthday! I completely forgot! Don't you realize? No! Yeah. Not those two imbeciles again! I absolutely have to go see her! Hey! She'll be so disappointed! I only want to give her a big hug! Simple, yeah? Who's he talking about? Washington, I am sorry! I refuse to let you go alone! I'm your best- You want to come with me? You know, my mom makes the best acorn pie in the forest! Really? Uh, okay, I'll come with you. Just a quick trip. Hmm. We'd be better off going home and sleeping. No way! I have a hunch Wash has a date with a girl, and I want to be sure. Hmm? Wash, someone's following us! Nah, uh what are you talking about? My snout is tingling, and when my snout tingles... Your snout tingles all the time. Whenever you're hungry, whenever you're thirsty, whenever it's bedtime, whenever you're... Behind the bush! It's Mitch! I know it is! Mitch is a bear, Sam. <laughs> He's far too big to hide behind a bush. It's obvious there's... <laughs> what are you doing here? We could ask you the same question. What are you doing here? Yeah, uh, 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 we came looking for, uh, catnip for Victoria. Did we? Pretend to look for catnip. They mustn't find out why we're here. Otherwise, we're done for. A hunting dog that hunts catnip? Now I've seen it all. You were right. Those jokers are hiding something. It's lucky we met you. We could help you, sir. Huh? The quicker we find catnip, huh? the quicker we get home. Yeah, uh, 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 thank you, girls. <laughs> really cool of you. Can you just turn around for a minute? <laughs> uh, call of nature. <laughs> uh, come on, quick. My parents' lair is this way. Those two clinging gate crashers obviously must not catch up with us. Hey, don't we know each other? Hmm? Of course. I remember you now. I'd recognize that muzzle anywhere. I've already seen you hanging around here. What are you doing here? You know him? Who? Him? Uh, never seen him before. We were just looking for somewhere to go wee-wee. We don't know anyone around here. Is that you, Wash? <laughs> <laughs> but of course, I'd recognize that muzzle a mile away. Back to the forest to be with us. <laughs> You? You must have confused us with someone else. <laughs> Sorry. How uncanny. He just called you Wash. Yeah, and uh, so, uh, what does that prove? Wash is a very common name. I see. You're just giving us the brush off, are you? Just because you're with your little town girlfriends? Do your parents know you're behaving like a town boy? If you've never been to the forest before, isn't it weird how all the animals seem to know perfectly well who you are? No, they're just joking. It's the forest air. Everybody knows. <laughs> it makes people want to fool around. Too right, like me when I was in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Well, I got a special little joke for you. Forest style. You're going to love it. See you later. What did you really come here to do, Sam? Yeah, well... Wait, action! Wild animals! 
There are wild animals around here. So what? It wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, but these guys are different. They're like really wild. Ferocious. Mm -hmm. I can smell them. My nose never lets me down. Great, we gotta hide. What about the wild animals? We are the wild animals. Come on. We're gonna give Nugget and Fluffy the heebie-jeebies so that they clear out of here and we can go say happy birthday to my mom in peace. Fluffy, mm. don't just stand there. Ah! Where are your manners, young man? Is that how you welcome town folk round these parts? Mm -hmm. I'll teach you manners. Little washeroo. Aw, washeroo, as in Washington. A little bird told me you and Sam had been playing the wise guys now that you live in town. And that big fat wild boar is called Sam. Mm -hmm. Just like Sam Livingstone. No, Dad. His name's Max, not Sam. Max or Sam, they're both moronic names. Why are these domestic pets here? Oh, honey, it's plain to see. It's their girlfriends. Welcome to my birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> Give this a go. It's one of your dad's specialities. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is awesome. What is it? Pigtail potatoes with real pigtails. Pretty good, huh? So, little washeroo. Still happy with life in town? Well... There's nothing like the forest, son. You'd never catch me playing flunky to a human. There's honor at stake, and there's no way I'd wear one of your fancy disguises. Marvelous news, but let's not forget it's Mom's birthday. Come on, how about we go fetch the cake? I bet my nine lives that those two jokers, the fox and the boar, are none other than Wash and Sam Livingstone. What are you saying? Washington is so much more suave and sophisticated than a vulgar fox. And Sam might look dumb, but he's still a cat, not a wild boar. <laughs> Wanna bet? Hey! What's happened to Mom's acorn pie? You disappoint me, son. Have you forgotten? For birthday, we always serve my famous dung beetle mousse with dandelion clocks. Happy birthday, Mom. What happened to those two Lottie da house cats? Yeah, know what town folk are like, honey. Always in a hurry. I blame their parents. Never leave before the birthday moose. I hope you're not thinking of doing the same. Uh, of course not, Dad. Glad to hear it. What happened to Nugget and Fluffy? This is the spot we last saw them. If my hunch is right, their disguises must be hidden nearby. <sighs> but it is an acorn pie. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Mom. Gotta go. We'd love to stay longer, but... <laughs> you came to my birthday. You've already given me the best gift possible. My little washeroo. You see? Proof you got it wrong. Wash had a date with a girl. That costume story is ridiculous. Wait just a minute. <laughs> Too late, Wash. We're done for. Uh, that is the place we left our costumes, right? Not such a wise guy now, huh? <laughs> you went to the Livingstone's house? Uh-huh, and we had a ball. What a fiesta! <laughs> Not to mention the kibble. We're keeping these costumes. They're awesome. And to think we didn't even get any acorn pie. With the town folk us? But next time, don't pretend you don't know us. Got it? Uh-huh. We promise. And if you ever want to come see us at the Living Stones, you're always welcome. Where were you? We looked everywhere for you. Oh, wow. What a stink. What's the new perfume? Oh, what? What perfume? I can't smell anything. You want some catnip? I found tons with my famous feline sense of smell. Ta-da! But... It isn't even catnip. Come on, 
anyone can make a mistake. At least it proves Wash wasn't on a date with a girl. <laughs> We're back! <laughs> Everything go okay? It was horrific. The girls were out of control. Not to mention your two Joker buddies who turned up in your costumes. That was the limit. The forest is way too stressful. I'm never setting a paw back in there again. Not even for a slice of acorn pie. Don't worry. No need to go back for another year. In one week, it's Mother's Day. Are you stuck for good <laughs> ideas? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. go. Flea treatment complete. You've all been very good. Well done. But where on earth is Victoria? That's weird. She was here two minutes ago. Seeing how she hates that flea product, she must be long gone. It's like she has some sixth sense that tells her when to leave at treatment time. We're gonna have to find her. This year, the fleas are back with a vengeance. Hmm. <laughs> You are. You. We've been looking everywhere for you. Stop it! Shh! Shut up, Sam. Keep your snout out of it. Oh. Darling, look. Fix up there. Get down from there right this minute. treatment for me this year. Hey guys, look, a cat. You know what that means? Party, party, party! Interesting. What's up with this? Can't you see? She's dancing! Cool dance routine! <laughs> I reckon she's being bitten alive by fleas. There you go, Vic. You should have played the game and taken your treatment just like everybody else. You're a fine one to speak out. Your costumes protect you from the side effects of that ghastly stuff. Ouch! And they protect you from fleas. Stop! Well, well, there you are, Vic. Mm -hmm. This time you're going nowhere. I know it smells bad and it makes your head hurt, but at least the fleas are going to leave you alone. Get the shelter! Come on, Vic, you'll get over it. Who's up for a game of forest ball? Yeah! Yeah! Count me out this time. Go long, Sam! <laughs> Paradise. 
I think I might like it here. Me too. I hope our buddies are enjoying themselves as much on the other double fur animals. We have a problem. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not scratch in front of them. Otherwise, zip. We'll be up in front of the vet in no time. What if the vet examines us and discovers we're wild animals? I don't want to go back to the forest. There we go. We're off for a weekend in the wild. Be good, little angels. We'll be back tomorrow morning. Oh, what did I do with my sunglasses? Oh, here they are. All right, honey, I got the road map. And the donkeys. Stop, stop, silly of me. Huh? Huh? What's happened to them? Do you reckon they have fleas? Hmm, but the treatment works perfectly. Victoria's fine. I'll call up the vet anyway. I'll make an appointment for tomorrow morning when we get back. What a nightmare! <laughs> we cannot let that vet examine us. We have to come up with some solution to get rid of these fleas. No, I can't take it anymore. Yeah! That feels so good! Good idea, Sam! Yeah! They're everywhere! That's what we're gonna find out! <laughs> what an awesome party! Yeah! Whoever organized this is a genius! Does it work? Right. We're gonna have to find some other idea. Well, well, what a cute little dance routine you got there. This is not the time, Vic. If we don't ditch these fleas before the living stones get back, we're done for. Yep, Vic, what can we do to get rid of them? <laughs> to do that, you'll have to find them a better place to live. Like a mansion with a mud jacuzzi? No, another animal. But don't worry, there must be hundreds of untreated pets around here. Hey, Vic, you're a genius! <sighs> But why do I have to do this first? That's the way it is. We drew lots. Trust me on this. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> hmm? What's up, Sam? Lost your way to your comfy Sophie? Hey, thing. Hey, I was looking for you with my buddies. We just wanted to say that... That what? That you're an awesome neighbor, we all wanted to give you a big hug to say thanks. Uh. <laughs> yeah, what's that smell? Wait, I'll go see. I don't know what it is. It looks like a trash can with fur. Nothing compared to our double fur penthouse suite here. Uh. What's wrong with you? I mean, what have those guys been putting in your food lately? To think I'm the one everyone calls wild around here. They're really clinging on. I don't think we have many options left. Who needs the vet? We get our hands on the flea treatment and blam! A quick dose on our real fur and problem solved. You ready? Careful, Sam. I don't believe it. What kind of vet is this guy? There's everything but meds here. Out of the week, 59 pounds or 13 ounces. Oh, no, Sam! 59 pounds and 13 ounces? That's impossible, Wash. The guy inside that thing is lying. Uh, the animals! Calm down. Did you hear that? Sounds like there are thousands of animals out there. All with nice warm fur. We're right. And it sure smells good. Maybe it's time to throw the party of the century. Yay! Moving out. 
Thanks. You can sleep easy now. Come on, let's go look for our treatment. Yeah. You know you heard it, right? <gasps> it's the vet. Quick, let's get out of here. What about the flea treatment? I'd much rather live in a cold forest with fleas than get caught hanging around here. Let's go. Oh, what are the... Do something. Look at them, Vladimir. I shall never forget you, you little marvel of technology, you. What are you doing? Farewell, Sofa. Farewell, TV. Farewell, lovely home. Thank you for all the good times we had. We're home. We came as quickly as we could. Oh, poor little honeys. Looks like they're at their wits' end. The vet will be here any minute. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone, good day. So, where are the patients? I can't take it anymore. It has to stop. This torture has to end. What torture? You stopped scratching. Yeah, you're right. But that means the fleas must have gone. At last, someone with a brain cell. But how come I didn't notice? I have good news and bad news. The bad news is my clinic suffered a flea invasion last night and I don't have the usual product in stock. Yeah. But the good news is, we get to try out a totally new treatment that's even more powerful. Uh, right. The only complicated thing about this product is that it has to be swallowed. Awesome! It's breakfast time! I say, your animals sure are cooperative. Hang on, where's the other cat? <laughs> Come on, Vic, you'll get over it. It's a good thing we got away with it this time. I hate swallowing tablets. Hey, I wonder what did happen to our fleas. Hey, it's you, Hadley. How's it going, buddy? Cool place here, huh? Huh? 